After starting the season 6-8, the reigning champions have turned around their fortunes and are currently on a 7-game winning streak. One simple stat confirms that the Bucks are still among the first class of NBA teams, which is that Milwaukee is undefeated this season with Giannis, Middleton, and Holiday all in the lineup. Here's every key to Milwaukee finally looking like the team that won the 2021 title, how impactful the DeMarcus Cousins pickup could be, and whether or not Milwaukee can legitimately go back to back. Before continuing, only 15.7% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up on this video, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Now let's get into this. Injuries have and continue to hurt the Milwaukee Bucks during the first quarter of the 2021-22 season. Of course, the Bucks are just one of many teams being forced to deal with setbacks to several of their key players, but given they just took home the NBA title last spring, their 6-8 start was under a microscope, and despite Middleton being out, there were still questions as to what was going on with this season's Bucks. However, now Giannis Adetokounmpo and his Bucks have gotten a few of their top options back in the lineup, and have recently found a viciously overpowering, reigning champion-esque offensive flow over the last few weeks. Brooke Lopez remains sidelined, as does last year's starting shooting guard Dante DiVincenzo. But aside from the Brooklyn Nets' all-time leading score, the core of the 2021 title team is finally healthy. Now that Milwaukee's big three of Adetokounmpo, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday are not only back, but have developed a nice rhythm, the reigning champs are letting the world know that they're still a first-class team in that there's still a chance for them to go back-to-back. One simple stat proves that to be true. Through their first 21 games, the Bucks are 13-8. Not an eye-popping start whatsoever for a team looking to defend the Larry O'Brien. Having said that, there's a few viable excuses for Cream City's average start. While it was mostly a narrative manufactured by Kendrick Perkins, there were times during last year's postseason where Middleton was more crucial than Giannis. While Adetokounmpo had to miss a few games in the East Finals, cash money carried the scoring load and fueled the Bucks into the finals. Middleton closed out the series without his MVP teammate on the floor. The 6'7 sharpshooter averaged 29 points, 8.5 boards, 7.5 dimes, and 2.5 steals on 47.6% shooting in games 5 and 6. The two-time All-Star dropped 38, 10, and 5 to go along with 5 steals in a must-win game 6 against the Brooklyn Nets a round earlier. Don't get it twisted, the eventual finals MVP was the straw that stirred Milwaukee's drink, but Middleton handed Giannis that straw. Drew Holiday definitely struggled at times offensively throughout the 2021 postseason, but the best guard defender in basketball was the one responsible for defending Trey Young, Chris Paul, and Devin Booker during the final two series. Drew did a great job holding those talented scores in check. The 31-year-olds also averaged 18.3 points, 10 assists, 2.8 steals, and was a plus 14 in Milwaukee's four wins against Phoenix to help clinch the title. To start the 2021-22 season, Holiday was out for six of Milwaukee's first 18 games while Middleton missed eight. Even Adetokounmpo was out for a game against the Celtics. Now all three are back in the lineup, looking fresher and healthier than ever, and they're showing the league how scary of a threat Milwaukee still is. The Bucks enter a matchup with the Charlotte Hornets on Wednesday night, riding a seven-game winning streak. The Bucks blew out Orlando on November 22nd, leading by 51 points during one stretch in that game, and they added another win against the Magic to go along with victories over Oklahoma City, the Lakers, Pistons, Nuggets, and Pacers amidst the streak. Milwaukee's Big Three has played nine games together, including the last seven. The Bucks are 9-0 in those games. After the win against the Lakers, Chris Middleton had this to say, Definitely started way slower than I think we all wanted to, but it happens. Adetokounmpo added to that, saying, We gotta start winning games. The two-time MVP also said he doesn't miss having his wingman back either. Quote, There's an inside joke between me and Chris. Like I always complain to him that I see you too much. I'm tired of you. We got to get some space from one another. But I missed him. Just having him out there, he definitely helped the team. It's good to have him back. It's definitely good to have him back. The reigning champions expect Lopez back in early December, so they're getting healthy as I said. It's no coincidence they're getting back to their dominance as well. When Milwaukee's all-star trio graced the floor all at once last year, 
the Bucks had a plus 12.7 net rating in the regular season. That barely fell off in the postseason. This season, when Drew, Chris, and Giannis start alongside Grayson Allen and Bobby Portis, that lineup is plus 7.3 in a very small sample size as he's only played one game. When Brooke Lopez is healthy and replaces Portis in that lineup, their net rating jumps to plus 9. As I said, Milwaukee's starting center is returning shortly, and the breakout 26-year-old's Grayson Allen has definitely played well enough to keep his starting spot, even when Dante DiVincenzo returns. Before showing you the main factor to the Bucks' turnaround, we have to talk about the product of Duke, Grayson Allen. He spent his first three years with the Utah Jazz and Memphis Grizzlies, but he's broken out in Milwaukee, filling in for the absence of shooting left behind with Bryn Forbes and P.J. Tucker moving on in free agency. Grayson's 14 points per game are good enough for fourth best on the team, and the man's posting career highs across the board. Huge pickup for Bucks GM John Horst and the front office. The growth of Giannis in terms of his maturity after winning a championship has been an under-talked about part of the Bucks' turnaround. He's fueled the Bucks through this rocky start with his improved leadership. As Adetokounmpo told The Athletic, now I've realized that you've just got to start building good habits. Just build good habits with your team, and when you go down the road, down the stretch, that's when that mentality enters. We're not losing. I'll do whatever it takes, but at the end of the day, you realize I can kill myself right now. Drew was out, Chris was out, Brooke was out, Dante's out, and I kill myself right now. But I had a conversation with Coach Budenholzer, just play the right way, win, lose, just play the right way. And Giannis did just that, while Coach Budenholzer put out more lineup combinations than any other team over the first 15 games of the season, adjusting to one of the NBA's longest injury reports. He didn't grow impatient and try to run through the wall opposing defenses put up on a nightly basis like a younger, wilder version of himself might have. As he and his coach say so often, Adetokounmpo just focused on making the right play and waited for his teammates to return. His coach Mike Budenholzer said, I think he's grown a lot and we've grown a lot to hopefully have more ability to win and score and execute without him being just in that ultra aggressive downhill mode. We need him in that mode, but he can also figure when he has opportunities to pass on the spin, opportunities to pass on help, go to dribble handoffs, do different things. I think he has more variety and hopefully we have more variety. And that's somewhat natural, the progression of a team and a player and coaches." End quote. On this channel, I made a few Bucks videos all throughout their title run last spring, even predicting they'd win the championship a few rounds before it happened. I also said they should be your pick to win the Larry O'Brien trophy a few months before it happened. But I was concerned after the slow start, as it seemed the squad was not only suffering from injuries, but a championship hangover. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So, maybe more Bucks videos are on tap for this channel. Since I'm a little narrow-minded when it comes to DeMarcus Cousins, he has all the talent in the world but fails to properly utilize it, I want to know your take. For next video shoutout, does DeMarcus Cousins make the Bucks better? The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Ona Ebodaga, who says the clutchest player in NBA history is Kobe Bean Bryant. Michael Jordan is the only player who ever lived that matched the Mamba's will to win on a basketball court. In my opinion, nobody worked harder than Kobe, not even MJ. Pause to read the rest of Ona's take. You guys are the best for every answer. Hope all of you watching have a great one. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.